One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey. Boys and men, I remember that. The top selling toy was Tickle Me Elmo. The first flip mobile phones went on sale and Tom Brady was a senior in high school. So let's take a look at where all of us first takers we're back in 96. Stephen A. was a writer for the Philadelphia Inquirer. I was a student at Chapman <laughs> Elementary School, oh, young buck. Dan Arlovsky, <laughs> at 12 years old, was playing basketball, hoping. not football, hoping. for the St. Lawrence Thunderbirds. All right. That's kind of fun to give us a little a, a, a little context there right now. That's all right right there. And look who's here. That's Dan Orlowski, our What's quarterback. Up, it is good to be here. It's so good to have you. First of all, I got two things. Yeah. You dress like a Buccaneers fan That's today. Right. Not a Cowboys right, right, right. fan. That's right. That's right. right, right, right. That's right. That's what I do. And I got to say this, as much as I love you, the segment before when you had the I pirates, had you look like a black crocodile dungeon. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. I told him. I said, you tell me so I'm like a brother with a pirate hat like this. Um, um, <laughs> uh, me, can Michael. I say something? It's my fault. Can I say something? Uh, yeah. The cameraman right there <laughs> to my right. Um, on several <laughs> occasions this year, I've played, I've had First Take producers replay the video oh, oh, where the Cowboy fans were crying yeah. after the loss of the 49ers. That guy that was crying is right there. He's oh, been man. so quiet. You ain't gonna cry today. Right over there. Don't worry. Right over there. Thank See him? You. See him? You know what that is? That's, that's loyalty. You know what it is? Thank you. No, no, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Let me tell you why I keep pointing him out. Because he's so quiet because he's emblematic of the nervousness that Cowboy Nation feels. He's here, but he's scared as hell. He's scared as hell that it's gonna be a repeat. He's scared as hell. They scared. He's scared. You see what I'm saying? He's scared. That man know. He don't know. He don't know. Tell the truth. This is exactly why Stephen A. hates those Cowboy fans. Come rain or shine, sleet or snow, Cowboy Nation will show up. That's what we're going to do. That's what's wrong. Uh, Way to show up, baby. You know Wait something? Let me tell y'all something. Hey, I was trying to. This man right here. I don't have anything to stand on. Mine's too low. I am sick and tired. My chair almost rolled up. <laughs> I'm sick and tired. I got it. I'm sick and tired of him lying. That is not why I can't stand Cowboy fans. I can't stand y'all because it's not because y'all show up. It's because y'all show up and deny the truth. When you lose, you won't accept it. When you lose, you act like you won. When you lose and you are relevant and you don't matter, you act like you matter. That's why I can't stand y'all disgusting, nauseating selves. And that's why you're going down today. Make no mistake about it. Okay. That's why. All right, but Michael. That's why. Michael, you were listening to my little read earlier because you were yes. all you were all hyped up with the crowd. But you know, 1996, obviously yeah, yeah, the last yeah, time, yeah. and I told That's you not. Mariah Carey, Boys right, to Men. Right. I was in elementary school, all of that. And um, Tatiana picked this up for you because this was the toy that was most popular. It's a tick tickle me Elmo. So it's just be careful me. because right. he will talk to you. So we just wanted to give that to you just as a memory. You don't know what to do with it. This is a this this, this Tampa's color, right? This is like Tampa's color. Right? This is this is this is a good, this is Elmo. a nice Tom Brady gift as he depart right here, Tampa. Because this is his last game in Tampa. Right? He's leaving after this. So we're going to send him out the right way. Uh, Goodbye. We appreciate it. This is a nice go-away gift for Tom after tonight's game. You know what? That's your Hall of Fame brother. That's I your Hall him. of Fame brother. I love him. Right? I love him. You don't have a but single get out of here today. You don't have a single member of the Cowboys that's a Hall of Famer. No. To no. be. Okay. Not one of them. Well, that's not true. We know Michael Parsons. That gonna be well, a right. All right, all right. I want to talk to Dan. Michael Parsons be there. I want to talk to Dan. What was the second name you said? That's going to be there too. Dan. Oh my God. Dan. Stop, man. Dan. Right. Stop. Okay. Going what do you got? This is what I want to know. All right. You don't mean that. Dak ended up tied <laughs> for the most interceptions despite right. missing five games. Right. It Troy was. Aikman was on with us earlier. That was his biggest concern. He said, "Is that your biggest worry for the Cowboys, Dak turning the ball over?" No, I, I don't think that Dak and the turnovers continue to be a part of tonight. I don't know Dak personally, but everything you hear about him, I just believe in the character that he's going to get it fixed in the biggest games. Right. Right. 
But I will say this, there's major concerns about Dallas. First of all, your first down offense stinks. They have the worst first down offense in the NFL. That's more of a concern than is Dak going to turn the ball over. Yeah. My second concern is do they think they're just going to hand the ball off to Ezekiel Elliott inside between the tackles or Tony and, Pollitt, and or Vea. Tony Pollitt. I don't care who it is. If you think you're going to run at Vita Vea, it ain't right. going to happen. Are you going to ask that offensive line to pass protect consistently tonight because they ain't good enough? Defensively, what are you going to do opposite Trayvon? Because, like, I look at this game tonight in Tampa, my biggest concern overall is they got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. And, Tampa, and, and Dallas has whoever's playing corner opposite right, 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 Trayvon. Right, right. And if you're, if you're Tampa Bay, you're going, hey, we're going to throw opposite Trayvon all game. So I don't, I don't anticipate, like, waking up tomorrow morning and being like, Man, Dak had another two or three right. turnover game, another pick six. I would believe in the character too much to allow that to happen. But Dallas got to figure out a way to cover somebody opposite Trayvon. Right. By the way, they're showing that highlights. If y'all don't mind me taking a quick left turn just for a few seconds, yeah. I saw Mike Evans rip the Carolina Panthers to shreds. Yeah. Okay? But that was more no, no, bad no, no, defense by Carolina. Let me finish. Let me finish. That's not why I'm bringing that up. I'm bringing that up because that was a bad game. That's the only bad game we can question with Steve Wilkes. Steve Wilkes deserves strong consideration for that head coaching job. African-American coach, shows up in Carolina, inherits a mess, produces, and we hear about all these other damn candidates being interviewed. Steve Wilkes deserves strong consideration for that Carolina Panthers job, especially after he got screwed over the way that he did in Arizona by Steve Kime, who brought in Clingsbury. Now, back to what you were saying about the Cowboys. The you can concern. say those are concerns, right. and I don't disagree with you. But even if they weren't concerns, there would be others because they're the Cowboys. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.